that, so you know that I've been in choir for a couple of years, and after a certain amount of time, there are some things about singing in a group that just kind of tick me off. So I thought I'd make this video sharing my six choir pet peeves. Let's start! Number one, straight S's. So you know when a director is cutting off a note and everyone ends at the same time except for that one person who drags on the S for just a little too long? And then before you know it, everything starts breaking apart and the ends are all just like <sighs> Number two, breakaway bar lines. So I'm reading along to my music like the good little alto that I am and suddenly we get to a page turn and I realize that I'm singing an entirely different part than everyone else in my section. So I'm thinking to myself, either everyone else is wrong or I'm wrong. But I was just singing my notes. How could I have messed up? What I didn't notice was that we introduced a solo, which means that I used to be on this line and now I'm on this one. Number three, barely there dynamics. Quadruple P. Seriously. Why are we singing at all? No one's going to be able to hear us. And in the first place, how do you expect 20 people to be able to sing pianissimo? Number four, chicken scratch. Rawr. My choir program likes to reuse their music from year to year, which is cool with me because we're saving trees and stuff. What's not cool is when I receive this hand-me-down music and it's got writing all over it. I mean, above the line, below the line, and the spaces on the side, there are scribbles all over this thing and I can't read it. What's even worse, sometimes it's in pen. Number five, unresolved notes. So you know when you're getting near the end of a song and you hear this chord? Or even worse, this chord? And you keep on expecting it to resolve back down to a nice happy because you know, that'd be the nice, proper thing to do. But no, it just stays here the whole time. And then the song ends and it leaves you hanging. No, I don't accept this. This can't be the end of a song. There has to be more to it. The composer couldn't have just ended it like that. That's not proper, that's not right. You need to like resolve the end of it. <sighs> Number six, the never ending note. Sarah, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's when you've got this one whole note and it's tied to another whole note that's tied to another whole note, and that's tied to another whole note, and tied to another whole note. It's just kajillion whole notes that are all the exact same. Why must you deprive us of the ability to breathe? And sure, you can sneak in a breath, but then it's... Uh, uh, and you know we're going to go flat. You know we're going to go flat. It's unavoidable. So, Sarah, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you related and you found it funny. I was trying to be funny. Did it work? Tell me in the comment section down below. Also, tell me if you have any of your own choir pet peeves that I forgot to mention in this video because, Sarah, you're in choir and I'm in choir and we were in choir for a year together. It's like a thing that we share. Also, do you like the shirt that I'm wearing? I got it yesterday and I love it because it's a mugshot of a pug. Isn't it just so cute? Sarah, I shall see you on Tuesday. The end.